today we are making balsamic chicken. So I'm gonna bring you along, show you how I do it. I hope you try out this recipe because it's quick, easy, and it's delicious. So let's get into the recipe. Okay, I have my chicken strips here, uh, chicken tenders. You can buy them that way in the store or you can just get chicken breasts and cut the strips yourself. That's what I did here. So the next step is to get the marinade ready. So I have a bowl here that I am going to combine my marinade in. First have to get a few ingredients and then we'll be all set to go. Number one, we need the oil, olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is what I use. And we're going to pour that into the bowl to start. And then we're going to put in some Italian seasoning, which is a combination of seasonings. But I like my Italian seasoning, so we're going to measure out some of that and put that in with the oil. And after I get done putting that in the bowl, the next ingredient that I need to find is a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. So there's my black pepper, I've already put in the salt. And you can put in as much or as little as you like, depending on your taste. And then we are going to get some of the other ingredients together. We need garlic, salt, or powder. And we're going to add that in with the rest of the seasonings. See, my chicken's all resting and ready for this marinade. So to that marinade, the only thing left is to put in a little Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna mix that thoroughly in there before adding our balsamic vinegar, which will be the last ingredient I will add. So I got my balsamic vinegar here, and we're going to incorporate that in with the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna give it a good mix there before we drizzle it over the chicken. So our next step with this is to drizzle the balsamic vinegar dressing over the chicken, stream beans, and tomatoes. So let's get those stream beans and tomatoes ready. I'm heading over to the refrigerator to get my green beans and my tomatoes. I'm using frozen green beans today as I don't have fresh. So first I'm going to arrange the chicken here on the cookie sheet. We're just gonna arrange it however you like. And then we're going to add the veggies to this. I put on the stream beans and the tomatoes. You could add onion too if you like onion. That would be a nice addition. And then we're going to take the vinaigrette here um, and I'm gonna pour it into one of my measuring cups. It will be easy to drizzle then over the chicken. This is the balsamic chicken straight out of the oven, and I pair it with some rice for dinner. Look how wonderful that looks, and it was so easy to prepare.